mTOR is a little bit um, is a little bit more compelling, if you will, because there are drugs that are already approved, and of course they're being tested in head and neck cancer. Um, so be it the original inhibitor called serolimus or rapamycin, or the newer ones called everolimus, uh, temserolimus. Um, those are drugs that we can use in clinical trials right now. Uh, it's hard to tell how active they will be. So far, as, a, as single agents, there may not be a lot of activity, especially in advanced disease. But, for instance, one of the things that we talked about was using an mTOR inhibitor uh, a, as an adjuvant therapy to prevent recurrence. And in that context, in a, um, in a minimal disease setting or in a patient who has no evidence of disease, we may get a lot of uh, activity, hopefully, uh, efficacy of uh, inhibiting uh, a protein like mTOR. In patients that have very large tumors, in recurrent metastatic patients, um, at that point, their biology is probably driven by multiple things, and inhibiting just mTOR may not be effective.